West is dragging Poland into war with Russia, Polish judge Thomas Schmidt. Polish judge Thomas Schmidt has asked for political asylum in Belarus in protest over his country's unfair and dishonest anti-Russian stance. Schmidt, who served at the Provincial Administrative Court in Warsaw and was the head of the legal department at the National Council of Judges, says he was forced to leave his home country after being persecuted and threatened for his independent political position. He gave a press conference in Minsk where he publicly resigned from his post and asked the Belarusian authorities for protection. The resignation from my position as judge is my way to protest against the unfair and dishonest policy pursued by the Polish authorities towards the Republic of Belarus Rus and the Russian Federation, Schmidt told reporters, as cited by Belter News Agency. According to Schmidt, he has never witnessed any negative attitude towards Russia or Belarus from ordinary Poles and the anti-Russia sentiment that's being whipped up by the government in Warsaw has Western roots. The situation is such that the US wants to drag Poland into the war to make it a direct participant in the armed conflict. To prevent this, I have to talk about it, but in Poland I cannot do this, Schmidt stated, adding that Poland's foreign policy is directly influenced by the US, UK and Germany. He said his departure from Poland and his resignation are in protest against actions that are aimed at involving my country in a direct armed conflict. Schmidt urged the Polish government to normalize and regulate good neighborly relations between Warsaw, Moscow and Minsk. Schmidt added that his resignation will be handed over to the appropriate authorities in Poland through the Polish consulate in Belarus. He plans to apply for political refugee status. I am asking for political asylum in the Republic of Belarus. This is an informal request at this time, but if I want to live, returning to Poland is impossible for me, he stated. Commenting on the judge's resignation and statements, Polish Foreign Minister Radoslaw Sikorski said he was shocked adding that Schmidt's actions appear to be those of a traitor. Defense Minister Vladislav kosiniak kamis said he ordered an investigation into Schmidt's actions. A driver died after a vehicle crashed into an outer perimeter gate of the White House complex, and the incident late Saturday was being investigated as a traffic crash, police said. The male driver, who was not immediately identified, was found dead in the vehicle following the crash shortly, according to a Secret Service statement, the crash appears to have occurred about 305 meters from the White House at the intersection of Pennsylvania Avenue in the southeast corner of the complex, near the Treasury, the Ellipse, and the South Lawn Diana statement posted on X. Secret Service spokesperson Anthony Guglielmi said there was no threat to the White House and no threat or Public safety implications. Security protocols were implemented as officers cleared the vehicle and attempted to render aid to the driver who was discovered deceased, the Secret Service said. President Joe Biden was spending the weekend in Delaware, and the Secret Service said there was no threat to the White House. In January, authorities arrested a driver who crashed a car into an exterior gate of the White House, the man taken into custody after the crash was believed to have been experiencing mental health issues, according to news reports. And I think the rain's coming. Good night.
I leave when you do. I'm leaving now.